Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another Fundamental Games playthrough on Tabletop Simulator. Today, we're going to play a game of Animalchemists. Uh, basically, it's a two to five player game where each player will take on the role of an animal alchemist who's going to make potions using various ingredients to craft spells and cast them upon one another. The spells each have point values, and the player with the most points at the end of the game will be declared the winner. Now this consists of multiple cards. It's just a card game. There's no tokens. There's no game board or anything. Um, and I believe this will be live on Kickstarter sometime in September. Uh, more details I'll put in the YouTube channel notes. So when you're playing Animalchemists, you get to choose between five different character cards. Uh, I'm just going to flip them all face up right now. First off, we have the Sloth. Then we have Honey Badger. We have the Fennec Fox the pangolin, and the red panda. And they each have a different ability allowing them to take all of a certain type of ingredient. Uh, so ingredients come in this ingredient deck here. They're gonna be in the top row of the gameplay area. And those ingredients al will be the foundation to allow you to create potions. So for example, this here requires a mushroom and honey. Uh, this one here requires honey and seeds and etc. They each have a different combination to make a potion. And why would you want a potion? Well, potions are worth points, which are on the bottom. They're each worth three points at the end of the game. Uh, but they also allow you to cast spells. For example, this one here requires essence and herbs. Or this spell here, terraform, requires two potions. It requires a red potion and a yellow potion, which is extract and incense. Uh, but it's also worth 15 points all on its own. So throughout the game, you're going to be accruing ingredients and using those ingredients to make potions and or combine those potions to make spells. Um, and so what's going to happen in this game is the first player, uh, sorry, let me just uh, double check this here. Um, at the end of the game, there's going to be a special card called a... And it might not be the end of the game, there might be cards that influence this, but at the end of the game there is a time stop. So basically the game will end when the time stop card is activated. And nobody has to activate it, but eventually somebody will. And they have to use one of each of the components in order to activate that spell. So at the beginning of the game, that's at the bottom of the deck. The rest of the cards are randomly shuffled, and these were all randomly placed as well. The only cards that are not random are the potions in the middle. There's four of each. Once a stack is depleted, it doesn't come back. And there's only five characters. Those aren't random either, unless players choose to make them random. All right, so we're going to play a mock game. We're going to play where um, the player on the left will be uh, the pangolin, we'll say. Oops. Uh, so the player on the left will be the pangolin, and we'll put that here, and the player on the right will make uh, this guy here, the honey badger. All right, so those players there will go away, and they each have a special power. When you activate that special power, you flip the card over and follow through with it, and they can only activate it on their turn. I'm just actually going to snag all these cards and shift them over a bit, and we will get this started. All right, so in gameplay setup, we've got the card set, we've got the spell set, we've got the potion set. Uh, on your turn, you have three actions that you can choose from. You can only choose one of them each turn. So the first one is that you can draw two ingredient cards. Um, and you can either draw from the top of the deck randomly or pick an ingredient from here. Um, and if you pick one, it doesn't get re uh, replenished until the end of that player's turn. So you can't pick one and then replenish it and then pick again. Um, so that's one option, drawing ingredient cards. The section, second option is to use ingredients to make potions. And you can make as many as you want in a turn, but you require two potions for each of these, or two ingredients for each of these potions. And then the third action you can do is use a combination of the potions or ingredients to cast spells that I already talked about. Um, in addition to doing the above, you can cast any spells you have crafted and or used on your character card. So um, all these spells, if I craft a spell, at any, any turn I can use a spell. I don't have to do it on the same turn that I might craft a spell. I could do it on a ingredient turn, for example. 
All right, spells can only be cast on your turn. And as soon as you finish your action, it goes to the next player. Um, and that's about the foundation of the game here. So let's give this a whirl. We're going to start the game off with our pangolin character. And so as an action, each turn they can take all the mushrooms. So before I even draw anything, I could flip my card and say I'm taking this mushroom. All right. So that doesn't get replenished, but I can still go and take my ingredient turn. So maybe for my ingredient turn, I want to plan ahead to take um, the plague. So if I want to make the plague, I need to get a green potion and a seed. To make a green potion, I need bone and herb. So maybe I'm just going to say I'm going to take bone and herb this turn. And so my turn is over. I replenish this. Flip those over, and I flip my character card over because um, you can just use that power once per turn. I'm just going to clarify that one there. Mm. So they can only be used on your turn. They don't count towards your one action per turn. Yeah. So. Um, not sure if I can use my character just once in a game or if I can use them multiple times in the game. Um, but regardless, we're going to go to the Honey Badger and we'll say they'll activate their, their player power. And maybe I'll just do it once this game just to show how it works. So they get that and then they can take two cards of their own. So what do they want to do? Maybe they want um, Terraform. They really like that one. So they need Mushroom and Honey. We've got our Honey and we need seeds and herbs so we could take the seeds and herbs and that'll be this player's turn then we replenish the deck oops there we go flip 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 and we go over to this guy's turn so this guy wanted to make the plague and so we still need um, seeds again there's no seeds here so we'll draw the top card of the deck and top card of the deck. All right, and it passes over to this player's turn. Uh, they wanted to make uh, this potion here, and I think they still needed um, mushroom. So they'll choose to take mushroom and bone because they don't have any bone yet. And we switch over, go back to the pangolin character. The pangolin is not got the seeds they wanted, but maybe they want to get something else. So how about restore? Take an ingredient card from the discard pile. I guess that's all right. We can. We just need a blue potion. So they would need honey and seed. Hmm. So they're gonna grab more ingredients. Grab honey and, and another mushroom. All right. Go back to the honey badger. Honey badger got their seed so now they could get their terraform so what they're gonna do a redeem for potions so we're gonna put the discard pile up here to make this one extract they need a seed and an herb so that one they have and then to make a red potion they require a mushroom and a honey which they have all right then so they've done their redemption so now we're going to go over to this player. So what can they do? Well, they're going to just keep grabbing from the top of the deck. They got their seeds and they'll take one more card. All right, let me go back to the honey badger. So now as an action, so on one action I had to make my potions. Um, I can now use a combination of potions or ingredients to craft spells. All right, so it's not that I'm going to discard my potions, but they are going to go to the side in my kind of a used pile. Or, and you'll see on the back of these potions actually some really cool art. Uh, the potion gets empty. So that's to represent that you still have it, but you've used it. So when he does that, um, he can now grab his plague that he wanted so much. And I just acquired the plague, but I can use it in the same turn. So I could say all players discard a random ingredient. Um, but I'm not going to use it this turn. Oh, oh, wait, he never grabbed that one anyway. He grabbed Terraform. That one lets you discard all ingredients and place five new ones from this part here. 
but don't need to do that at that this turn. We go back to the pangolin. So the pangolin finally has their seeds to get their plague that they wanted. So to get the plague, they need a green. Oh, they still can't get the green. They want the green, which will cost a bone and an herb. And they get the green potion. All right. So I think I can only craft one potion in a turn. I might have cheated on my last turn. But we'll play through the same way just so that this player doesn't get a disadvantage. So maybe we'll take some tonic as well. No. We'll take honey and bone. What does honey and bone get us? Honey and bone gets us... Oh, there is no honey and bone. So we'll do honey and fungi take another red potion. All right, so we'll go back to this player's turn. Now they, oh, we were supposed to replenish that spell. We could go for purple, why not? Bone and mushroom. So we need a mushroom, we'll take that. And we'll take another green. So their turn comes to an end. And we go back to um, this player. So now they could redeem their green, flip it over, show it's empty, and a seed, put it over there, and they will get the plague. All right. And they could use the plague right now if they wanted to. All players must discard a random ingredient. Sure, why not? So everybody must discard a random ingredient. We'll say they discarded bone. We'll say this guy discarded mushroom. Just to keep it easy. All right, so that was this player's turn. We go back to the badger's turn. Got to replace the spell card. All right. So you can see it can take a while to get to the bottom of this deck here, but um, we will try to get a restore potion. So to get a restore, we need to get a blue. To get a blue, we need honey and seed. To get a seed, we can grab that, and we'll grab one more honey. Then it's the next player's turn. We move back to the pandolin. pangolin. Um, so we have red. Nothing here needs red, so we might want some extract seed. So we could take a seed, and we could take a green, flip that over. And if you ever run out of ingredients, you shuffle the discard piles together and um, rebuild the deck. All right, so this player now can take their herb and seed, for example. What did they want? No. Herb and mushroom to get S. No. Sorry about that. Uh, I lost something here. I had a mushroom. All my cards are sticking together. Urban mushroom. What did that get me again? That's not what I wanted to do. All right. Apologize. Draw two random ingredients. We wanted a purple, which is bone and mushroom. I thought I had bone. So we're just going to take two bones here. All right. Put that there. Put that there. Let me go back to the pangolin's, pangolin's turn. I can't get the name right. Pangolin. Um, and they're going to use a... What do they want to do? I'll grab some more ingredients. Why not? So obviously, if you were playing, you'd pay a lot more attention to the ingredients than I might be right now. just want to show you how the game works, and you can figure out the intricacies of it after. So we take a mushroom, we take a bone, and we create ourselves an essence. Go back to this player's turn. They might take a um, green and a seed, and they might make a extract there. Go back to this player. They could use their essence, flip it over, and they could grab foresight. And they could use Foresight right away to draw two random ingredients. So we'll put that over here and draw two more ingredients. So 
the spell is still going to be worth points at the end of the turn and that's the key thing even though you're getting new spells that you might not even want um, you're getting them for their spell value as well so this player here could look fear steal a random ingredient from another player it's not bad so they might want another green potion to get a green potion they can discard that and that grab a poison and we go back to the badger what might the badger want to do well the badger could go to confuse that might be better in a multiplayer game but it's still worth 15 points so let's go for that we would want another purple potion which is bone and mushroom so let's just spend the turn getting bone and mushroom purple for now and we'll go back to this player and they wanted to use their poison flip it over to get um, fear and now they can use fear to steal a random ingredient from another player so they will do that I'll just flip this over in here for now so random ingredient we'll say they took the seeds let me go back to this player all right but they get the card back in the spell pile and they were going to try to get um, confused so they also need the extract which is seed uh, they lost their seed so they need another seed and they'll pull one more just because they can and we'll flip it over so all these cards obviously would be in a player's hands when they're playing for real so the, the game field wouldn't look quite this messy I'm just trying to keep it all visible for you all right, so this player is just going for easy wins. So now they're going to go for yellow, which is seed and herbs. So they need herbs. They can grab herb, and they'll even grab another seed. So we'll go back to the honey badger. The honey badger is now going to use their... They want to get a yellow bottle, so they're going to use their herb and their seed and get another honey bottle. They can't use it this turn. We go back to the pangolin. The pangolin is going to use their seed and herb in order to purchase this. Oh, they already had an extract. Whoops. We go back to this player. They're going to empty these two bottles. Whoops. And get the confused spell and add it to their spells. Right on. You can see we ran out of yellow potions, so getting Echo is actually impossible now. Uh, we go back to the Pangolin. Uh, they do have two potions, so if you look here, they actually have Endure. Uh, so there is something that flips your character back over. So they could use this and the Honey to get Endure. And they could even uh, use their Endure, because they're still going to get the spells later, to flip their character over. Then we go back to the honey badger. So the honey badger can replace the spell. It's a spell of silence there. Or restore. Disrupt is worth lots of points, so we could go for that. So we need another poison, which is bone and seed. We don't have either of those. Or another incense, which is mushroom and honey. So we'll just use up the mushroom and honey to get the red potion for now. We go back to this player, the pangolin. Uh, maybe they want to get a tonic, which is honey and seed. Oh, that's not honey, that's a potion. So they need honey and honey. And they replace these cards. All right, we go back to the badger. All they have is honey and seed right now. We could buy a tonic just so they have it. Might as well. Then we go back to this player. Now that they have... Hmm, not quite enough. Visibility requires purple. Right now we have yellow and red. So if they wanted to go for green, they would need a seed and bone, which they don't have. So they can take a seed and take a bone pass the turn go back to the badger they're going to use their tonic to grab a restore spell all right when we go back to this player they're going to use their seed and bone to get their poison and then back to the badger and the badger 
They could use restore, take an ingredient from the discard pile, but they don't really need that right now. But maybe they want to try to earn darkness. Or poison. We already have red, so we need... Oh, let's flip these over. We need seed and bone. In order to get poison. So seed we can get. Or, sorry, that we can get. And then the rest of these, we're going to group them together, flip them over, shuffle them back up, and that becomes the new pile. But, and so we can draw one from the top. Not what he wanted. Okay, back to the pangolin. So the pangolin was trying to find a way to create a spell of their own. They've got green and they've got red. So we use up these two potions and they sneakily grab the disrupt spell and they're gonna use it right away all players pass an ingredient to the right so this player is gonna pass a honey to the right uh, this player doesn't know what they're gonna pass so let's say they were gonna pass honey as well so let me go back to the badger's turn that should have been replenished earlier all right so the badger knows that if they leave the mushrooms there the pangolin could take them all so the pangolin maybe shouldn't have cast that spell until it was another turn so they're just going to take the two mushrooms out of spite we go back to the pangolin all the pangolin has is a yellow right now but we were supposed to replace that spell and they could go for awaken that's not bad we need a mushroom and a honey we don't have a mushroom so as my action, I'm going to flip over my card to get my mushroom, and then I'll use my mushroom and my honey to make a red, just so that nobody else can take it. So now we're all out of two potions. You can see late in the game, things get uh, changed up a bit. So the badger now, uh, what could they possibly make with their one red? Well, they can redeem their incense and just grab that awaken right now. And they can even cast that awaken and make that opponent discard two cards of their choice. So he'll do that. This player has to discard two cards. All right, I'll go back to this player. Well, maybe they want to get a tonic. So they need a seed and they'll grab this. Go back to the badger. We've got honey and herb. So we could get a tonic, might as well. Racing for these same things here. Forgot to flip these over. Alright, back to this player. All they have is a red. Oh, forgot to replace that spell. Ooh, that one's big. And transmute. Uh, silence needs a blue. To make a blue, we need honey and seed. So honey and seed will redeem just to grab this tonic. And we go back to this player. They're going to use that tonic to grab that silence before their opponent can. And not gonna, not gonna use it yet. Let's go back to this player. They've got red and blue. This one only needs a red and a bone. He's gonna grab it while he can. Um, this is a scorch. Destroy two ingredients from the ingredient row. So he gets it, casts it right away. Uh, destroy two ingredients from the ingredient row. Um, so we're gonna destroy. Looking here, most things need bone. We'll destroy a bone and a honey. So then this player gets to go. Uh, they have a restore. Can take any ingredient from the discard pile. Oh, it's time stop. So somebody has to use one of each element in order to activate time stop. So we could use my restore spell here and take any ingredient. So let's take an ingredient we don't have, a bone, and then I'm going to draw this and this. So now all this player needs is a seed to cast that spell, and they'll get the extra seven points for it. So then we go back to the pangolin's turn. Um, they've got blue and yellow. Nothing they can make with a blue and yellow potion, but could just use a yellow potion to make that spell. And then, um, 
take two of the same ingredient from the ingredients row. Why not? So they're going to take two of the same ingredient. They're going to take two seeds just because they can. Might as well use the spell. We go to this player and they got the seed they needed. Maybe that was a bad play by Pangolin. And they'll also take a honey because it's the honey badger. And then we're going to cast silence. So my opponent can only draw ingredients until their next turn. And we'll leave it at that. So this player can only draw ingredients this turn. So even if they wanted to redeem for something, they cannot. So they draw a bone and a mushroom. And we flip over. So this opponent can see that They can see that this player couldn't possibly make a spell this turn, so they could be strategic and decide maybe they don't want to make time stop. But they're pretty sure that they won, so they're actually just going to redeem one, two, three, four. I think there was a bone there. Yep, four, five. So they redeem all the different five colors and they make time stop and cast it right away to end the game, not affected by other spells. So, what happens from here? Well, now we have to do some addition, Let's do some mathematics. So once time stop is crafted, the game ends immediately and all players add the points from their spell cards, unused potions, oh, I didn't notice that, unused, not used, and ingredients, with our rich, rich arbors, one each. All right. So... Uh, unused ingredients I think is how it's supposed to read so that's important so let's look at this player first if we're gonna quickly import something here I always do this with games that have math in them but we're just gonna import a counter and another one all right so first we're gonna add up all unused potions so these are all considered used so they have three points for an unused potion one, two, three, then unused one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then they add up all the values of their spells, but spells can be used. So that's the important part. So 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 55. So 55. So they'll be at 63 points. Don't ask me why I did it this way. <laughs> All right, 63 points for the pangolin. Oh, we'll just have to remember that. 63 points for the pangolin. We go back, bring the same counter over here, and add up for this guy. So this guy has 15, 37 points. He didn't cast the transmute, so 37, 38, 39 points. So they cast lots of spells and had 39 points, but they don't have any unused potions. Um, oh, 39, but I did put some spells over here. So 39 points, 49 points, 54 points, 59 points, 64 points. So 64 to 63, that was a really close game. Um, and this player didn't get a chance to cast as many spells, but they did manage to get really, really close to this player's points. So the um, official winner is the Honey Badger, um, using uh, spell after spell after spell and finishing the game with Time Stop. If this player had the chance to have Time Stop first, they would have won, so that was pretty close. So let's take a step back and think about this game, Animalchemists. Uh, this is a card-only game designed by John Cohn and Justin Jenkinson, and they put together something really cool here with um, a kind of a triple layer. Uh, you have to plan ahead in multiple stages to know what you're going to do. You have to decide what ingredients you want to craft your potions, which then will craft your spells. Uh, and, and that's different than just using basic ingredients 
to cast spells directly. So you kind of layered in uh, an extra thought process there. Uh, not to mention there's resource limitations. So there's unlimited ingredients, but the fact that there's limited potions mean that you really have to be aware of what your opponent across the table or adjacent opponents are doing uh, to decide if the spell that you're going to go for is even possible. Because if we ran out of those red bottles or yellow bottles like we did, then we can't cast those spells anymore or make those spells. Um, and of course, uh, I would be remiss to not talk about the art of this game. So if you look at uh, this awesome animal art that they put together, uh, it's really impressive and makes you want to drink and draw these potions and use these ingredients. They're very well done. Uh, so I just want to commend the artist and the graphic design that they put into this game because uh, it really stands out on my computer and I'm sure it'll stand out even more on the table with real fleshed out artwork. And uh, yeah, I think that I, I had fun giving this a try. Uh, I'll have fun backing out on Kickstarter. I think it's a very colorful, um, fun, quick card game that you can add to your table. It may have taken a while for me to play, playing against myself, but I, I can envision this being a relatively quick game once players get the idea of what the spells do and how all these interactions work. So thank you for watching a playthrough of Anim Alchemists. Hopefully I got through the rules properly and you had a chance to see it for what it is. And I look forward to trying it again, maybe with some real people in the real world. Until that time, um, I might have to give this another whirl uh, on my own time.